Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. December 28th is the Feast of the Holy Innocents. These are the children mentioned in Matthew's Gospel after Jesus' birth. Now three magi go to Jerusalem to locate and adore the newborn king, the newborn king of the Jews. King Herod, who meets up with them, requests that once they find the child, to report back to him, lying that he also intends to give him adoration. Now after the wise men find the Christ child and offer him gifts, they were warned in a dream to evade Herod, and so they returned to their home country using a different route. Now when Herod discovers this, he becomes enraged and orders that all baby boys two years and under to be killed, expecting the baby Jesus to be among them. Warned in a dream, Joseph flees with Mary and Jesus into Egypt. Now given these babies died in the place of Christ, the church venerates them as martyrs. Estimates differ as to the number of them killed. If just in Bethlehem, perhaps about 25. If throughout the region, that can mean even several hundreds. Now in Augustine's commentary, he says the Magi were seeking a redeemer and Herod is fearing a successor. Augustine explains that Herod is upset that this baby king is of Jewish lineage. And so Herod's afraid the kingdom would return to Jewish princes and therefore he would be expelled. Now he was a foreigner, alien to the people and totally alien to the culture. To terrify the people, he rules with a heavy hand even before Jesus comes along. Herod is a deeply fearful and insecure man, especially since this king the Magi seek is just a weak child with humble poor parents and not a fierce warrior backed by a strong, well-financed army. He's so insecure that he eliminates his competition, if even only an infant, and he slaughters many to get the one. Herod's a heartless coward. Now, brothers, perhaps not much has changed in rulers today. From what I see, many fearful and insecure leaders exist, disturbed by threatening rumors or situations. They have a fear of being replaced or substituted, and so will take even extreme measures to wipe out their competitors, their successors, or even their followers, instead of losing their position. Weak and corrupt politicians will abandon their own citizens even, and kill the young of their own nation, for they have no interest in its patrimony or its future preservation. On the contrary, these twisted leaders may even will its destruction when they can no longer hold power. Brothers, take care that in your leadership that you do not fall into any insecurity or envy. If you do, your direction and your governance will not be good, and if left unchecked, may even lead to serious wickedness, which you once thought not possible in yourself, such as failing to speak out loudly for harmless children who silently are murdered, like those holy innocents in this abortion clinic behind me. Be careful, brothers. Be attentive to what makes for true justice. And God be with you. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.